again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in the last video, we saw how we can use insert statement to enter new rows into a table that you already have. Now today we're going to see how we can actually delete any row items from your table using the delete statement. Now, before we begin the video, I want you to be absolutely cautious while running delete statement because recovering our data after you run a delete statement is a tricky affair, right? So be very cautious when you're running your delete statement because you're actually deleting row items from your data, which can have a unforeseen impact or unwanted impact on your final outcome. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Now, before running the delete statement, let's identify the condition on which you want to run a delete statement. Okay. So I'm going to write a select statement here. And if you remember in the last video, we inserted two row items in my table with a specific meet ID. And if I remember correctly, the meet ID was double nine, double nine. Okay. So I'm going to say select star from meets meets for the table where we inserted those row items where meet ID is equal to double nine, double nine. Okay. And I'm going to run this. Now, if you see, I've got this result wherein I've got two row items and what I would like to do is I would like to delete the row item where the meet path is null and the meet ID is double line, double line. Okay. So how do we do that? So this is how you write a delete statement. So I'm going to write delete, which is the keyword for starting a delete statement. And then you enter the table name. And in this case, my table name is meets. Okay, so at this point, I wanted to quickly highlight a point here. Although in BigQuery, it accepts writing a delete statement without a from clause. In couple of database systems, it requires the from clause when you're writing a delete statement. So as a SQL standard, it is always a best practice to write a from clause between your delete and your table name. So you should write your statement like this, delete from and then the table name. So if that's clear, let's get back to the video. And in the second line, I'm going to say, a where statement and say meet ID is equal to double nine, double nine. And then I'm going to use an operator, which is and operator. And I'm going to say meet path is null. Okay. So I'm instructing SQL to delete everything from meets table where this condition is met. That is meet ID is equal to double nine, double nine and meet path is null. Okay. So I'm going to run this. And as you see, the intimation is saying this statement removed one row item from meets. So let's just check if it worked or not. So I'm going to again, write a select statement and I'm going to say from meets where meet ID is equal to double nine, double nine. I'm going to select this and then I'm going to run. And ideally I should only see one row item, which is exactly what we are seeing here. So which means our delete statement has worked just fine. So I hope you understood how we can write a delete statement. The concept is really simple. You can use as many conditions as you want. Whatever we have learned so far in terms of operators and in terms of where clause, you can apply all of them here and arrive at a certain logic, which will then be used to finally delete a particular row item from your table using the delete statement. So let me know in the comment section if you have any other doubts related to delete statement or else you want me to cover any other situation related to the statement, I'll be happy to do that. And if you're liking my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.